how's it going? Uh, this is interesting because this is just after I have done a YouTube, not YouTube, a go live on the Manosphere in general. Um, some of the people that I watch and listen to just for interest's sake and in research have had a disagreement. Um, something should not have been said and something's on understand why it was said. To me it seems like quite a few things was said because they got caught up in their own Kool-Aid and one person made the observation it's kind of like someone just sort of pushing the limit to try and impress people and I would definitely say that these people probably would not have said it if those other people had been there so in real life these these guys would have acted and said things differently they would not have said what they could when they were alone just on YouTube or on their own platform and my thoughts are don't say anything that you wouldn't say even if you're hesitant about saying it that you wouldn't say actually in real life now the other thing is social media and their platforms if that's the only thing that they're concentrating on which is fine with building businesses and getting messages out there but if you're not touching base with actual real life and having the people around you that are going to check and balance you then that can be a problem because you can get so hyped up in your own I guess reputation and, and everything else that you're just blinded to the actual um, reality of the world and even though your reality can be really hyper focused in, the, in a little I, don't know, I guess echo chamber and you have followers in that because there'll always be people that follow even I know people that follow me that probably agree with me or don't disagree with me but they follow me for whatever reasons that they do um, to to say that oh, I guess it's really hard to say that I guess people get caught up in their own Kool-Aid that they get too full of themselves that they think that they're above reproach that they can basically say or do anything and not have consequences what what can I say actions have consequences um, and I'm not saying words because words are, are, are a thing but actions do have consequences and things that you do particularly in the public um, they can have pretty big consequences um, I know I'm, I'm a small small channel, small commentator, small whatever it is um, and they say well you know who are you to criticize and I'm like well I'm just making an observation because I also see a lot of this in the kink community where someone has a specialty in something they get their own little bubble going their own echo chamber where they can do no wrong occasionally someone comes across which at at the time they might consider appearing go hey look can you check yourself and then they go oh okay but then they sometimes change and other times just dismiss the information and, and then things happen now the thing is a lot of it that happens in the kink community also means that a lot of people think that they can step over the bounds that even though they preach um, a lot of the commonalities a lot of the rules laws conventions um, you know how it's how it's done they don't actually follow through with what they say it's either that or they kind of find a way to dismiss or make excuses for their behavior and I have seen this quite a bit um, some of them have actually made 
public apologies um, but realistically their fan base is such that if anyone came out to say something against them they would be hounded they would be targeted um, and people say oh they can't control their fan base and I said well that's that's true but they can also disavow that sort of behavior you know actually disavow and actually make sure that that is an actionable thing not just oh I disavow and that's just it to say no I really disavow and I call these people out for their behavior actually follow through the only problem I guess is that some people might do that publicly and then behind the scenes go there there it's okay you did the right thing <sighs> I've come across that too unfortunately now this is the some some of the things that people won't tell you about the kink scene is that a lot of these playground games happen um, it's kind of like high school in a way how can you navigate that it's it's difficult how can you know again <laughs> it can be difficult the only thing I can say is what I encourage a lot of new people in the scene is don't always jump in and and have a go and get all caught up in the, the new new toy, new vibes, new relationship energy kind of thing is to take a step back and then really look at why people are doing this, what they have to gain and some people think oh but they have nothing to gain I'm like some people I think I think realistically everybody has something to gain from something whether it's just peace of mind whether it's money whether it's fame it's fortune whether it's you know um, taking care of a concern that they have you know to go you know with regards to friends like some so you know why would they do say well some friends they're just doing it out of concern for you some friends just want to keep you in the same space that they're in because then they'd be alone so that's what some people keep saying and I agree to a certain extent that some people if they're single will try and keep all their friends single some people if they've had bad relationships will try and sabotage other people's bad relationships um, <clears throat> there are some that do really want to help but again they can't do everything for you you need to realize it you need to take in their information and you know be able to action that with regards to the Kool-Aid um, all I can say is check your references get a different point of view weigh it up logically in your mind don't get it all emotional don't get emotive about it because really you can particularly in the kink world you can come afoul of a lot of mean and nasty people having said that there is a lot of people out there that might seem mean or nasty but they're actually are gold they might seem you know kind of creepy to a few other people you might have heard lots of rumors but I'll put it to you this way have you talked to those people directly have you asked them have you met them are you willing to meet them face to face and say hey look I want to ask you a couple of questions because I've been hearing X, Y, and Z. To me, if you're not willing to do that, then don't say that. Don't keep spreading the rumors. Don't believe the rumors. Make up your own mind. Okay? Anyway, I best be going. I've got to hit the ground running today. I've got to get some more medication for my poor papa. He's running out. He's doing all right. Me and him both, oh my god, I thought about making him a little rubber coat, but it's almost at the end of winter. He's sleeping at the moment. He usually gets up and goes for a walk in the morning, but I think he's had a long weekend. Well, a busy weekend. He was um, playing host, so I'll catch you guys later. Remember, um... 
if you, if you are someone of note in like your community or on any platform just make sure you surround yourself with some people that will occasionally check you and that you check in with them and bounce ideas off them you're in control of a lot of people that jump on your platform or subscribe and all that sort of stuff you can't control that what you can do is make sure that you're responsible and you're aware of the things that you say. Um, the other thing is, if you're making criticisms of an argument or you're being criticised for an argument, realise it for what it is, um, not as a personal attack against you. Like, I mean, personal attacks, doxing and all that sort of stuff, dude, not cool. If someone personally attacked you, just go, oh, you know, realise that's a personal attack and leave. I mean, sometimes. I get caught up in stuff like that, um, and people personal attacks against me, and I'm like, oh well, you know what? That's that's fine. Um, sometimes I will make fun of people. Um, usually that's after I've tried to reason with them or try to say, hey, look, have you thought about this? If someone is obviously trolling, well, you know, they're trolls. I try not to feed the trolls. Anyway, I've also recently um, gotten onto Steam. That's an interesting thing. But I'll catch you guys later. I've got to go. Got to get busy. Have fun this week. Hope you had a good weekend. Bye.